Hello everyone, today we will learn how to send emails from Gmail for new Google Calendar events. We will create an integration where we can send notification emails to respective people whosoever you want to send the email about any new Google Calendar event that has just been created. We will create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger is going to be an event created in our Google Calendar and our action will be to send an email through Gmail. Let us learn how to do it. So in this video, we will learn how to send emails whenever a new event is created in your Google Calendar. And we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Here you can see on the screen is the landing page of Pabli and you can sign in into your account by clicking on sign in on the right hand side. And if you don't have an existing account, you can click on sign up for free. And this way I am logged in into my account and I will just now click on access now that's given below Pabli Connect because we are going to use Pabli Connect for, to create this automation. After this, I will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here I have to click on this big blue button where it's written create workflow and give a suitable name to my workflow. Send emails from Gmail for new events created in Google Calendar. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see two boxes. One has trigger written over it and the other has action. Now this trigger is when this happens and action is do this, which means that in your first application, a trigger will take place and that trigger is the reason for this whole automation. And then after the trigger takes place, the action application will perform whatever action you are going to assign it over here. So for today's workflow, our trigger application is Google Calendar because whenever an event will be created, it will act as a trigger. So we will choose the trigger event as new event and then connect our applications. So click on connect, then add new connection, choose your Google account, click on allow so that Pabli Connect has access to go through all the events that are going to be created in your Google Calendar and now both the accounts are connected. It has already detected automatically we can say that Pabli Connect has detected the email address with which the Google Calendar is associated. Now when you click on save and send test request remember that you have to open your Google Calendar like this over here and you will have to create an event right here. So click on save and send test request and then we will create an event. When you click on this button plus it will ask you that you can create different types of task, reminder, appointment or event. We are creating an event and let's choose a date. Let's say it's 24th and we want the time to be at 2 p.m. 2 to 3 p.m. Okay, now you don't want this to be repeated only once it has to go and we are creating this event not to set a reminder but we are creating this event to send an email to any specific person. Now if it's a Google Meet so I can name it as Office Google Meet. Okay, and then if I add Google Meet conferencing details, so it will automatically generate a link and see this is the Google Meet link if you have selected that option. If you want to add guest over here and you add guest, then you don't have to send an email through the automation. You can just create an event and it will be sent, but it will be just for this particular situation. Okay, for this particular event, that mail will be sent to that person. But we want that every time a new event is created in Google Calendar, a mail should be sent to some specific person. So we are not adding guest over here. Add, you can add description. So in case of description, let us write. The meeting will be held for one hour. Please be prepared with your content. Okay, now you've written this. And then if you want to create meeting notes, you can select this option. Otherwise, we have done almost everything. The time is set, the date is set, the name of the meeting is there and we have set a description as well. Now click on save. And when you go back to Pabli Connect, you will see that a response will be received about the new event that has been created in your Google Calendar. See, the response is already here. Once we clicked on save, we received the response here. This is the name of the event. Okay, the location, the time that was created and when the event is going to start, the email address of that specific ID. Then we have the description right here and we will be having the Google Meet link as well. Okay, so everything is over here. So we will just save this step because we will use all this content to send the email. Okay, now we will choose our email application as Gmail. 
that will be our action application and the event is going to send an email okay now again both are google applications so just connect with your google account choose your account click on allow so that Pabli Connect has access to the Gmail as well. Do not worry, Pabli Connect is 100% safe. Now, the first thing that comes in front of you is the recipient email address. Without it, no email can be sent. Why? Because that is the destination of the content. So, you will enter the email address of that specific person whom you want to share your Google Calendar with or whom you want to send these email notifications about every new event created in your Google Calendar. So, let's say that I have a colleague in my office. I want him to know about it. So, I will just enter his email address. Now, this is the email address of my colleague and whenever I create a new event in my Google Calendar, I want him to know so that he will be aware of the events that are taking place. In CC and BCC, you can add more number of email addresses if you want more than one person to know about it. Okay, now sender name is, I can say team lead. Okay, I'm the team lead and I'm sending this to my employee. Email subject, so you can map the email subject now. These were the things that we were entering, they were static. Okay, they're not going to change for any given case. But email subject might change, it might be some other event. Every time it's not going to be an office Google Meet, right? So we will map the title of the email or the title of the event. Why? Because this time it is office Google meet. Let's say next time it is some other meeting or some lunch party or something else that is going to take place in the office. So in the same way, it will occur as that name of that specific event. Okay. The email content is going to be plain only. Okay. No HTML is there. Now you have to enter the content. So let's just write dear employee comma and now you want that your text should appear in the next line so what are you going to put backslash and n okay this does the work of the enter key on your keyboard and you keep writing without even giving space after this and what are we going to write we are going to write the description so let's map the description again you want backslash and n okay so please join through the given link okay full stop and then now you will map it by putting first backslash and n and you will map the link of the google meet that is over here hangout link okay this is the google meet link and then we'll again put slash and n and then we'll write regards okay this is done our content is prepared any file name that you want to attach or any attachment any picture image url so there is nothing as such we have done our content this was the only thing that we needed to send the email about now we will simply click on save and send test request and wait for the response by the action application and see it's already here first of all check for any error it shows no error which means it's all correct if it shows any error in any case it's possible you might have done some mistake so you can correct it then and there okay but since it doesn't show any error it says sent so let's go back to this email address and check that have we received an email so first click on save so that you save your workflow till here okay and now we will go to that email address See over here, this is the new mail. Team lead is the person, office Google Meet. Dear employee, the meeting will be held for an hour, for one hour. Please be prepared with your content. Please join through the given link. And this is the Google Meet link over here in regards. So which means that our workflow was successful. We were able to send this email with the help of the workflow that we just created. So let us do a quick recap of our whole workflow. Our trigger application was Google Calendar. We selected the trigger event as new event, connected the account. And then when we clicked on save and send test request, we created an event in our Google Calendar. We used this information to send an email over here with the application Gmail, connected the account, entered one email address that we want to send the email to, but you can enter more in the CC and BCC section. The sender name, the email contents, email subject, everything was entered, clicked on save and send test request and this response was received and we were able to check that yes, an email was received by that specific person. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped.
not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.